I would like to express on behalf of London Social Welfare Society, London Managing Committee, our students and students and teachers from our other school for your blessings on this occasion. May I request your holiness to please give us a teaching on introduction to Buddhism. Today we know in 21st century it's a stressful, very complicated century. And we need a very peaceful and mindful life. For to lead a peaceful and mindful life, we, have, we should have a profound understanding of Buddhism. So once again, I request your holiness to please do your teaching. And for us, I thank you all for your holiness. Thank you so much. Much, a lot much you can do. So just like that, 
the, the, the public or the, the students or the uh, general, or for example, the Lada, uh, the, the today's student, if you are educated in any, every uh, field, then you have a, a very bright and good future. I also work in uh, places like Mongolia and Nepal. And I find that one of the uh, very big factors, for example, uh, Singapore is a very small country. It's a, one of the smallest countries in the world. Why Singapore is considered in a, such a high standard, in such a high living, and such an a, 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 a important thing, uh, where Nepal and Mongolia, although they, have, um, uh, um, they are much farther behind than Singapore, and I feel that one of the very important factors is that the, the public education, the education standard of the general public. Because Singapore has one of the best education systems in the world, uh, so that's why they have uh, everything, uh, all the standards are much higher. Where in Mong uh, Mongolia and Nepal, although they, are, they, have, they have good schools, but we are talking about general community, not just few people, but most of the public uh, uh, the education system is living behind, so that's why I feel that's a, the one of the most important factors. Of course, there are more, many other factors uh, in this, but one of the most important factors, I feel, is the uh, education system. So, uh, I, I always keep education uh, as a, a very important uh, factor. Uh, that said, that, um, when I was asked to uh, do the introduction to Buddhism, I thought um, we, can, we can talk about many other many uh, ways, but one of the best, uh, since we have one of many, many students here, I thought to talk about Buddha's life, who Buddha was, where he was from, where he was from. So, Buddha was born in a place called Kapalavastu. In today's uh, uh, location is uh, in, in a place called uh, near the place called Lubini, or you may know, it's border for Indian place in Nepal. And, and there is a kingdom called uh, Kapalavastu, and there was a king, a Buddha's father, Shudodana, and then he has uh, he's had two queens, uh, the their two the sisters, uh, the uh, elder. Queen was uh, called Mahamaya, and the second queen was called uh, uh, Yesh Yesh uh, no, no, uh, Shudodha. So the when the queen had a dream of an elephant uh, with the six fangs, it came down from the sky and into her into her womb. And that morning, after the morning, the queen was uh, 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 how do you say, concerned, and so that uh, she she shared the news with the king, and the king um, asked his ministers and uh, uh, astrologers to what, what is the meaning of this, and they said, oh, uh, near future you will have a son, you you will, the queen will bore a son, and then uh, the son will be born. So he was very happy. Uh, then after, uh, at that time, uh, when the queen was pregnant, at that time, the, uh, or maybe in today's time also, I'm not sure, uh, the tradition was that the, 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 the wives don't give the birth in the husband's house. So they, they have to go back to their own, uh, own place, own house. So on the way from Kapalvastu to her own uh, place, there was a place called Lumbini, which is a Consider as a garden. As the queen was traveling, uh, she stopped in the garden, and as she was walking in the garden, she gave birth to Prince Siddharth. And then the king was very happy. Uh, the king brought back the mother and the queen. At that time, many masters and everybody came to congratulate. And there was a special ascetic, very renowned uh, uh, master called, uh, I don't remember the name, but he came and he said, I want to see the prince. 
and the king was very happy to see such a uh, great master coming to his place, and uh, he wanted to see his son. And when the king showed his son baby to the, uh, the ascetic, and the ascetic started crying. And the king, king was confused. He said, why, why are you crying? He said, this child is a very special child. And um, he will be either a Chakravati, means the, the king of all the kingdoms, the whole universe, or he will become a greatest master, uh, teaching master. Uh, old person, he has seen a sick person, he has seen a dead person, then he has seen a researcher. So it's kind of a, gradually he saw all of this. Then at the age of um, 29, and Buddha decided that he must search, a, uh, uh, he must search um, for well, not just humans, not just animals. Every sentient, or God's wrong, hell's wrong, every, every sentient beings to attain enlightenment. That is the Bodhicitta mind. To be able to uh, generate the Bodhicitta mind, you must have the uh, a compassionate universal compassion, not just compassion towards your loved ones or towards your own neighbor or towards your own uh, uh, surrounding, but to, to have a compassionate, a universal compassion. That means you want, you wish that every sentient being to be free from suffering. This is what, that's so very important. In order to generate a universal compassion, you must generate uh, loving kindness. Now, what is the meaning of loving kindness? A uh, loving kindness means that you wish that every sentient being to be happy. That is called loving kindness. And now, th these are like steps basically to 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 to, have, um, to, to wish every sentient being to be happy, uh, to have a loving kindness. And then you can have the uh, uh, to, to generate the uh, universal compassion. And once you have that, so you want you want every such thing to be free from suffering, then you can generate or the um, have the supreme mindset, where which is every such thing to be enlightened. But enlightenment means basically understanding your suffering. Where is your suffering coming from? I've always given this example, saying that I I believe all of you watch this movie, right? You watch movies, right? So when you watch the movie for the first time, you've been, when there's a, a comedy scenes going on, your people are laughing, when there's uh, some kind of a, uh, how do you say, emotional movie scenes that are, people are crying, and when there's an uh, action scene, people are getting like an, an anxious, you know, you want the heroes to win and you want the villain to lose and all that. So you, can, you go through all these emotions, like, like uh, up and down. But if you watch the movie, for the second time, same movie, for the third time, for the fourth time, for the fifth time, you are not going to be as excited or uh, your emotions are not going to be so up and down like this. Uh, you, the, even though there is a, a comedy scene going on, you are going to say, yeah, this is funny. You are not going to laugh or you are not going to show your emotions in such a strong way. So similarly, you are, if you see an emotional side scene, you are not going to start crying every time you see the same thing, right? So that's just like that. If you understand, because now this, 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 if you understand your own life, your own suffering, uh, uh, where is it coming from, who is creating, who is making me happy, who is making me suffering, then you, you, you will be more in control of your own mind. Now Buddha's teaching is all about controlling your own mind. It's not about uh, uh, he has taught about all the uh, outer things, but because he wants to teach you about your own mind, so that's what he was trying to do. Basically, pointing yourself, but uh, that's, that's how he taught. So, I have a question raised in my, like, raised in my mind since days that in this 21st century, is it possible for a person to become enlightened man like Buddha? I think uh, in this we don't do not chat for more.
Sakatizm, Zipsu Sassun Pa, Kordun, Gana, Latka, Grimoche, Top, Gilman Palangas, Voka Sassun, Tetskane, Gekandan, Lotu Langas, London Rope, Lotu Langas, London Rope, Lotu Langas, Sana Sana Latane, Rimoche Sunula, Atinche, Tuche, Chila, Chesun, Chetan and Yane, Maje, Jua Sante, Green, Sana 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 Thank you. 